Welcome to this video on how to create an APA header since it's a little bit confusing. So here's our title page and I'm going to center the title name and institution name near the top, somewhere in the top of the page. And, and now we're going to set up the header, but before I do, I first want to set up a specific tab and you'll see why in a minute. So click view, I want to turn on my ruler. And now, actually when you first come in, you'll probably see that L like that. That's a left tab, and you'll want to click it until you get to the right tab like that. And then come over near the right edge of your page, and in the bottom little half of the light strip on the ruler, click there, and there. Now I've just added in a right flush tab. In a minute, you will see why I did that. Now, to set up my header, I'll just double click in the upper area and it opens my header area. And for page one, I want to say running head colon and then in all caps an abbreviation of my title. Great. And now, here's where the right tab comes in. I hit tab once, it jumps to that center tab you see. I hit tab again and it moves right over to that tab my right flush tab that I want to end. This is the only way you can have something flush left and flush right on the same line. Now to insert a page number, I don't want to just type number one, otherwise every single page of my document will say one. So I want an actual page number, so I'm going to insert it. Insert tab, page number. I want to insert it into the current position, and I want a plain number. I don't want any of the fancy ones because that's not APA style, right? So there it goes. Um, now I'll double click outside of the header to get out of that. And let's take a look down. Let's look down at page two and make sure this is working. So there's page two. Um, you can see how it numbered correctly. But on page two, I don't want it to say running head anymore. I want to get rid of that. So here's what you have to do. And this gets a little tricky. Watch this. I'm going to double click to go back into my header. And if I just delete running head now, it will also delete on page one, but I want it on page one. So as soon as I activate my header by double clicking there, I get a new ribbon, the header ribbon. So I'll click there and I'm going to go to options. And if my window is wider, it's going to show up and I want to select different first page there. And now on page two, I get rid of this and double click out. And now it looks good. Let's go look at the page top of one. Okay, but this is what I wanted to show you. When you turn on different first page, it deletes whatever you've done from page one. So turn that on uh, first thing. In other words, one more time, go up to header, double click to get in, click you know on that ribbon if it's not open, options. Turn that on first thing, otherwise you just have to repeat your work. But it's no big deal. So I'll just type it again. Tab once again. Insert page number current position name. To get out. And now let's check out our document. Page one looks good. Page two looks good. Page three looks great. So that's all there is to it.